Now to Operation Fast and Furious, your investigation there. You sent a letter to the White House asking for William Newell, the special agent in charge of the ATF uh, Phoenix Field Office, and Kevin O'Reilly, Director of North American Affairs, American Affairs and National Security Council staff, uh, an email exchange between the two of them. And I'll, I'll quote from your letter. Uh, the email says, quote, when a 22-year-old kid on state financial assistance walks into a gun store and plops down $12,000 in cash to buy a tripod-mounted 50 caliber rifle, that's a clue, even for us, that he's involved in trafficking firearms to a Mexican DTO. In other words, moving this uh, to cartels. Is this, do you believe, evidence that this goes all the way to the White House? Well, it went all the way to the White House. Whether it went to people who knew or should have known to stop this remains to be seen. But our committee has been following a trail that has been impeded by the administration, and particularly by the Justice Department. And each time we get to a certain level of clearness, somebody gets fired, somebody gets changed. And we keep going, well, stop throwing the little guys under the bus and just tell us that somebody did something stupid by allowing this so that we can be assured it won't happen again. So far, we don't get that. And you have, a, in this letter, a request for a response from the White House by September 14th to make Mr. O'Reilly available. Uh, has there been a response yet? Not yet. The expectation is we want to be very narrow. There was an exchange. We have copies of it. We became aware of it. There's a claim that it was benign, that it wasn't a lot of information exchanged. If he corroborates that, we can move on. Because we have lots of other areas in which we're seeing an expanding program that Fast and Furious wasn't supposed to be, but appears to be. I want to ask you about the post office.